if you have a bright red, your flowers will turn out more orangey looking and that's okay too. Um, or pink, depending on the red that you have. So um, you can do the flowers the size you want, but I will recommend not too big just because um, it will take you a long time to finish it. So we'll get our palette ready. So let's put... Are we little... just doing one flowers? Yes. Can... Okay, so draw it in the middle of the page? Yes, uh, we'll okay. paint one over here mm -hmm. and then a smaller one over here. Okay. Um, so we're going to put a little bit of uh, red on our palette, on one side, on the other side we're going to put white, um, and then that's it. Um, don't put black just yet. Just getting my colors and I'll show you in two seconds. So I have red and I have white and I have a flat brush. Let me just try to get the camera just a little bit more towards. Maybe I'll just move it this way so you can see better. So remember, I have my water, paper towel, dry my brush. We'll start with a flat brush. And we'll have only pink, sorry, only red and um, white. So the first color I'm going to mix is um, a medium color. It's not going to be the lightest nor the darkest. Um, sorry, I forgot. Liz, you can start recording now if you have. <laughs> started already. <laughs> Perfect. So, um, let me just quickly look. So let's start by mixing um, a medium um, so I grab equal amounts And I get 
a medium pink. If you get a medium orange, that's okay. It will be pretty too. With this color, we're just going to draw the outline of our flower. We could do it in pencil, but this way is faster. You don't need to do it in pencil. Mm. So, um, my f I'm just going to make little dots of where my flowers are going to be. So my first one, the center is right here. There is a petal over here. The tip is right here. And there is another one which has a round tip. You can wait until I finish this part so you can see what you're doing. Another one over here, this pointy over here. And another one over here. Actually, the center is more like here. And this is a big one and another one here. So I like to make indication of indications of where I want to go from the center. So my first petal, I'm gonna make it nice and big at the bottom and pointy at the top. My second petal, I'm gonna be make it pointy in the center over here and round. It doesn't have to be with lots of paint, it's just for us to know the shape that we wanna create. We're gonna paint over it later. You can, it's up to you, you can go with uh, along uh, as, you can go along as I draw this or you can wait until I finish the outline so you can see. Um, but basically, this is the center of the flower, is not right in the middle or the center towards where the petals go, is not in the middle of the flower, it's more towards the right. I have a pointy petal here and it looks like it's underneath this, the previous one. So we're gonna name them. This is going to be number one, two, three. So you know which one I'm talking about. So number three is pointy in the center and still pointy on the outside, but not as pointy. I'm running out of paint, so I'll mix a little bit more. Try to make sure if you run out of paint that it's the same color. This is going to be like a C, and then it goes to the middle. And here it goes to the center again. And my last one, just a bit pointy. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Goes down almost straight over here. Perfect, and that's my outline. I'll let you catch up. That's my first flower. Just one second, I'm going to bring something. <coughs>
know if you can notice or you can really see the, sh the size of my canvas, but it's quite bigger than what we gave you. So um, if you have a smaller canvas, you can use the entire thing. Or you can use, if you have a big one, you can use all of it or just have whatever you choose. Don't worry too much about perfect lines because um, we're gonna paint over it. Um, I will be more concerned on the shape and the proportions. And I think we can draw another one. Just makes it more pink. Um, maybe we can Paint it right over here, maybe behind this one. So I start where the all the petals are going to make indication of my petals here.
And we're going to do half a flower over here. At the bottom. So now we have the basic outline and shape from our three flowers. And for the painting, we're going to use three colors, light, pink, or orange, or whatever color you got, um, light, medium, and dark. The center, wherever it gets closer to the center, it is going to be darker. The middle section is going to be medium. And the top, it is going to be lighter on our flowers. So the, let's start with our first one over here. We'll do this petal for first, so you get the idea. So um, I have, let's mix a darker color. So a bit more red, a little bit of white only. Just a little bit with more red. And the way I want to paint is I start on the center and I follow along, making strokes like this. I go up. So I start in the center and I aim to go here, but I don't go all the way, just a little bit. So I'm going to do that again. I grabbed red and a, just a drop of pink so it stays dark.
Don't worry about painting all of it. You see, I, I have little areas here where it goes up, but it's not completely covering the area. That's fine. I'm going to keep with the next step so my paint doesn't dry, but you take your time if you need to. I'll repeat it on the on the on petal number two. So I have my red that I mix. I'm going to add a little bit of white. More red if I need to. So this is my medium pink. I want to make sure it's lighter than the the one I my first pink. And from here I could just continue making lines like this like I was doing first. And I keep going. I add more white. I know I'm going fast, but you need to make sure your paint doesn't dry. If you need to see it again, I'll do it on the next one, but I, I, mean, I just add more and more white to my color and keep going. Same thing, I add more white. And this is my lightest pink. So I'm just going to really go on the tip. And bring it down. So I'm just going to repeat what I did. We started with a dark, then I added white, kept going, added more white, did another section here, and added more white. I'm gonna add lots of white for my last lighter color. And I create lines. You can start at the tip and go down. I'm not putting lots of pressure on the brush, just enough so I can get my white in there. Now my brush is too big. I'm changing to a smaller one. For my lightest color is very light. Mostly white, a little bit of red. And I mostly do the tip. You can bring a few strokes further down. And that's how we're going to start doing all, all our petals.
if you need to fix the shape that's fine we're gonna let it dry and later on we'll add a little bit more white on the dry paint so it pops out a little bit more If you feel that you put too much light um, pink, go back with a darker one and fix what you need to fix. It's nice to see the strokes and the difference. You'll get a, a little bit more texture. If you're going back to a dark color, it's always a good idea to take your paper towel and clean your brush of the excess light paint. So look at your painting. If you need to add more white or more darker pink or red, you can always clean your brush or you can have two brushes, one for the lighter colors and the other one for the darkest, darkest ones. If you only have, or you only want to use one, that's fine, just with wipe the excess paint between one to the other. So um, I'm going to review what I'm doing and then I'll start with the second one. So I'll, I like to start with the darkest colors. I'm using lots of red, almost pure red for the darkest parts. 
I start at the center or where my yeah right here and then point towards the top that way when I do the stroke brush stroke like that it gives the impression of just a little bit more texture after the paint is dry we'll go back and add a little bit more white for highlights and we'll see if we need to add darker colors so I'm gonna go ahead with my darkest one again almost pure red I'm going to start right here and this petal likes to go like this. This one is going to be a little bit darker than the first one. But always start in the center or the, the center of the flower from one corner and go to the other corner. I'm going to let that dry just a, a few minutes before I add a lighter color just because um, they don't blend as much and it, uh, you can really see the, the difference between the two colors. I think that looks nice. While I'm waiting for that one to dry, I'll get a dark color too and jump to the third one over here. This one doesn't have as much dark, but they all do. So stroke, you see this, those lines I'm leaving same color at the bottom here and last one I'm gonna leave a little bit of a space there and just a few over here. I'm gonna go back to this one because it blended too much.
is because we already have this color on our brush. Let's do this flower. So the darkest color. Again, wherever the center is, just point up. Wherever the center is, I follow the, the shape where I'm at. Start at the center, follow the shape. So the way I do is here I go slow, so I cover lots. And then I, around here, I just do a quick stroke. So slow, quick, slow, quick. Slow, quick, and so on. So from the middle, slow, quick. And at the bottom here, just gonna turn it for two seconds. Same thing. You always have to keep in mind which one is on top and which ones are behind. I'll let you catch up and then we'll go ahead with our next color, which will be a little bit lighter. One thing you can do is mix lots of paint for each color. So lots of dark paint, lots of paint, medium and lots of light. So you, you only need to grab it with your brush. I am 
I usually don't do that. I just mix as I go, but whatever you prefer. So I'm going to start with my second level of pink. So this was my first one. I want to add white. It's already drying. So I want to make sure it's lighter than my first one. If they're too similar, you need to put more white. So for this one, we're just gonna keep going. This. So same thing as before, now I'm going the other way. So I'm going slow here and quick at the bottom. So you don't want to paint like this, left to right, because you want to leave little marks. I'm going to bring it closer to you. So when I paint, I want to leave, I want to make lines, and in between those lines, I want to see the color that was underneath, the darker one. If you paint left to right, that's not going to happen. Thank you. 
gonna switch to a smaller brush for my lighter colors. Still flat. Whenever you're done using your brush, or even though you're not done, but you're not gonna use it in a while, put it in the water so the paint doesn't dry. Take your time. I'm going to start with the next color just because I don't want my pink to dry. But basically what I'm doing is just adding white to the color I already have. You keep working on the color you have if you need to, but I just don't want to waste this paint. So for the lighter colors, I'm gonna stir at the top, bring them down. Don't be afraid, if it looks too different. If the colors are too different, that actually looks nice. This one I make a C and bring the lines down. Remember to use a smaller brush if you need to. Remember which ones are on top, which ones are at the bottom. So for my painting, this one, the first one we did is at the top. So I want to make sure I don't cover that one. And here's blending too much, so I need to show which one I want on top which is this one. So I'm gonna take a lighter color and just outline the border over here. Same here, just kind of blending together get your light color and draw the border of the one you want on top. 
So I want this one on top. I draw the border over here. I don't go completely to the center where it, it begins, but I make an indication. So again, I start the border here. Start at the border with my lighter color. And this one, start at the top, follow along and go past. So you see how I'm bringing the light color in the borders here. This one, it really gives it a 3D feel. And last but not least, the very light color for my first one here. If you're not too sure what your color looks like, I start over here and the corner just to see, uh, make sure I like it and kind to kind of see what, how much pressure I need to put. I'm not putting too much pressure on the brush and I follow along. Now this side. I'm gonna add those lines. I know I'm going a little bit fast, but it's just because my paint dries so fast that I wanna use it all. But you take your time. I'll just repeat what I'm doing until you catch up. So. I grabbed a light pink and did the corners, always go looking towards the center. Then I grabbed lighter, the light pink, and I was doing the corner, the corners of, of each petal here. So I start along the border and bring it in quite a bit, almost to the center, but not quite because that gives me the illusion that they're not all just blended together. So you could basically make this flower any color. If you have a purple, you can take the purple instead of the red or an orange or even yellow. It's just adding white to the main color. Anytime you add white, you want to compare it to your previous level. So if my last color, it's too similar to my new color, you need to add more white because if it's too similar, the eye is not going to catch that. So make sure you can see the difference. So I'm here in my middle pink. 
So it's a little bit lighter than the one I had here, you see. I like that, so let's keep going with this one. So with this one, I just kind of finished the spaces I left white. Actually for this one, I think I want this one on top. So I'm gonna paint over this one. I'm gonna go back to my darkest color and make sure I, I show which one I want on top. They start to blend together. You need to go back and make sure they don't. So right now I'm going back to a darker color and just making sure my petals, um, like you can see where one starts and when, when the other one ends. They're all blending together. It won't look as nice. So just to review what I'm doing, I just added white, make sure I made sure my my second color is darkest, darker than my first one, sorry, lighter than my first one that I can really see the difference. And then I paint the outer section. So this area and bring it down just a little bit like this same as I did here. And like I told you, take your time with a color, make sure what you're happy with, with the how it looks, and then add white to go to the next step. On this side, we, we 
ditch the outline, making sure we take it close to the where it begins here, just to like show, I really show each individual one. I'm gonna start doing that here. So this is my pink I, I've been using. It's already drying, so I just add a dot of water so I can keep using it. I'm gonna add white. I'm happy with my light pink. And I'm gonna show my each, each individual one. So I go here along the corner goes in a little bit. The nice thing with paint is that you can always fix your mistakes. If you don't like something, just paint over it. Same thing for my next one. I have a light color. I'm gonna show the corner, the outline. This one is at the back, so I'm gonna start it only over here. Just bring a few lines down. So we're just repeating the process. Here, this one is at the back, so I start over here. So whenever one is at the back, so this one is behind this one. So for the white on the corner, I'm just gonna start where it touches the previous one. So this is number one, this is number two. I start my line where it touches number one. If I keep going, then it'll look confusing which one is at the top. Just bring up. This one is not as curved. Pay attention attention to this shape. It's not round like all of the other ones. It's kind of coming in, then down, then round. Sorry, I'm just trying to show the, the camera the same angle because if it doesn't look flat towards the paper, the shapes look different. Thank you. 
And I'm going to do the last one before we start with the next steps. So again, I have my previous color. I added white and I make sure it's light enough so you can notice the difference between the previous one and the next one. And now I do the outer sections over here. This is the point where if you need to fix the shape of your petal, you can do it. So this one is at the front. The ones at the back will start whatever they touch. Remember to make sure the corners are nice and completed. is this one. Over here, it's to be lighter and it's on front, so I'll just follow along. If you find that one of these was too big, the way you can fix it is paint the background 
you can paint it all black and once you're painting you can fix the shapes if you paint it black it looks gonna look really nice you can do that i don't think we can do it because of time um but if you want to keep going and paint the entire background black you can do that too So if you are not sure if your flowers are looking 3D-ish, maybe the difference between each color needs to be even more. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to make a little bit of a darker color to just point, point it out here, just an indication that it is darker in the middle. But maybe I'll give you about two minutes just to finish this section. Not very steady. If you're done, um, I want you to wash your brush completely. For our next color. Um, also, if you're not using canvas paper or a canvas, sometimes when we do so many layers on top of each other, the paper gets very wrinkly. Um, if it's just for practice, that's fine. But once you want to do an entire painting, a nice painting, use canvas paper or canvas. So for our next color, we're gonna put black in our palette. Just a little bit, you don't need too much black. So this is my black. I grab red, lots of red. 
and I grab just a dot of black. You see how much I'm grabbing? Not much. I put it in my red and it's darker. I'll grab just a little bit more. I think I put too much. So I grab more red. So the idea is that you get a darker red, but don't put too much black. So with this darker black, we're going to go to the very center of our piece. Just going to create an illusion depth. We're going to bring it out like we did the initial one. Very, just a little bit. You don't need to drag it out too much. It's just the very center. Maybe here a little bit. I want this very, very center to be very dark. And with that color, going to go to the other flowers. <clears throat> We're not going to spend too much time in the last steps because I, I do I'm going to try to finish this today. So my center is very dark. Bring it out just a little bit. Same here. Center very dark. Okay. So that was our um, dark. I'm just going back and forth with a little bit of red I didn't cover over here before. So I'm back, back to my just red, no white. And I'm just touching up a little bit of strokes here and there, not too much, just lines towards the outer.
So after you're done with your black with red in the center of the flower, I'm just grabbing pure red. And we may not have time to finish. We'll just do one more thing and then we'll stop there, let it dry. We don't have much left, just a little stem right here, but we can do that in the beginning of next class. And then we'll continue with paint after next, after we're done with this, we might do something else with paint as well. And you can do back and forth, go back and forth with darks and whites forever. I never know when to stop my paintings. Sometimes I leave them standing in my room, my arts room for months, even years, and then I go back. You see that as I'm doing this, I don't have too much paint in my brush. I just wanna make a little indication of a red color. So when I have, when I grab paint, just on the tip, you see, I never put paint down here because I never paint with this section of the brush and then it's hard to clean it. And then when I have lots of paint, I go to the center. As I am running out of paint, I go farther out with less and less pressure. And once you're done with this color, we'll take pure white, do our highlights, and then we'll stop there for this class. We'll finish our flower next class. Um, if you want, you can paint this black. I think it will look nice. Or you can leave it white. So I'm gonna wash my brush. I am using a small brush. The one you have right now, it's big. Change to a smaller one. Make sure you really wash your brush. If you have colors still in your palette, you can use them. So you don't waste any. So if you have a middle pink, you can go back and do a few strokes like this. Always follow how, like the direction. So it's it starts here, goes this way, and it's a little bit curved. So you will do this. Same here, it's like this. As I go towards the corners, I change my direction a little bit. That will give you different shapes. So let's take our white, pure white. We're gonna do a few highlights and we're done. 
So just the corners like this go in. You see um, how I'm doing it? So I draw the outer sections. And then from the tip, sorry, from the, I draw the outer section and from the tip here, I go, I follow along. Highlights are always my favorite part of a painting or drawing. It's the same thing. Draw the, the edge here. Very little pressure on my brush. For here, I bring it a lot, bring it in a lot. This is why if you paint your background black, these highlights are going, really going to pop out of the painting. As I'm running out of paint, I go farther in. And we do that for all so the, the edge. Don't spend too much time here because then you're going to end up covering what you just did. You don't want that. You, ju you want just a few strokes, no more than maybe eight, I think. So just do the corner. I did 10 there. Same thing. Order. This I'm not going to bring up as much. our first flower. I draw the edge. And I bring it along. I think you can do about 10 strokes per flower or so. If we do too many, it's going to be too much. If you did too many highlights, go back with a pink. It's fine. I'm gonna do this one over here.
and I repeat the edge and follow along very little pressure barely touching the canvas And last but not least, the last flower. I'm sorry. This one goes all the way around. I put lots of pressure whenever I'm doing the edge. I get a, a thicker line, especially at the top, not so much at the in the intersections, but up here, lots of pressure. And then here, going in, almost no pressure at all. Running out of white paint. And we are done for now. So finish your highlights. We'll finish. We're almost done with our flowers. Um, we'll, we'll do the little stem next class here. And that's it. Um, remember, if you want, you can paint the background black.